Ooh, Joe Montana rookie card, 175 bucks for an 81 tops. Man, oh, Dan Marino, my favorite player. Oh, $27 for a Dan Marino rookie card. I'll buy that. Marcus Allen, 83 tops rookie, six bucks. He's a running back. It shouldn't be worth six bucks. Lawrence Taylor, $18. He plays defense. Hold on. Let's check out Barry Sanders. 89 score. 89 score. Barry Sanders, $20 and going up. I think I'll just buy myself a couple pro sets. Oh, what's up, guys? Flipping Steve. And uh, just going to talk some football cards. So sit back, relax, and I'll be right back. What's up guys, Flippin' Steve, and uh, today I'm going to talk some football cards. If you haven't noticed, the football card market is really starting to spike, kind of like soccer did last month. A lot of money is starting to be poured into the NFL market all over the place, not just the quarterbacks anymore. Starting to see some trends and some running backs and some wide receivers, and uh, people are becoming priced out. Surprise, surprise, these modern day players, guys who haven't even proven anything, they're looking to empty your pockets and your wallets with these guys. So... What I've done is I've sat back and I've thought to myself, who is possibly a good deal? Because anyone who is anybody is just expensive right now. So I've tried to come up with some guys who might be good gambles, bargains, guys that take a flyer on. Now, these guys aren't necessarily, you know, uh, guarantees because there is no such thing as a guarantee. But, as, but I think that there are some cards that are still out there. Um, that could make you some profits because the price points and the get in, uh, the get in levels on these cards... It's pretty low right now. Uh, so sit back and chill. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go out there. We're gonna look at some cards. What's up, guys? Flippin' Steve. Uh, welcome back. And you may be saying to yourself, Steve, this is supposed to be a football video. You know, kickoff is Thursday, tomorrow night. Well, guys, if you haven't been a part of the channel, and if you have, you know that we're in the middle of the 1,000 subscriber giveaway marathon, doing giveaways all the way up to my birthday, which is September 12th. So coming up, so we may have this Giveaway to do now, a giveaway to do for this video, and one more for the grand prize. So yeah, make sure you got the notifications on so you don't miss any of the videos throughout the marathon. And make sure you're liking and subscribing if you're new to the channel. Welcome. If you've been rolling with me since day one, since 500, since 700, since 200, 300, it doesn't matter, guys. All of my supporters, I appreciate every one of you guys. Um, you're the only reason that the channel is still around, because when I got into this... <laughs> I had no idea that it would be what it's become. So thanks a lot, guys. Just amazing. Awesome. And we're going to talk about some football cards today. Um, at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned, we'll be, we'll be announcing the winner of the last video, and the prize will be your choice between the James Harden uh, McDonald's card and the uh, Russell Westbrook um, stained glass. It'll be your choice. And also the Luca in the middle, guys, that's going to be part of the grand prize. I'm going to add a couple more cards to that to give you options. I don't want to just force a Luca card on you. I know, oh, don't make me take Luca, but you know what I mean. Just going to give everybody options because not everybody collects basketball. So, yeah, we got to get some football cards out here. So, guys, I'm going to need a little magic. So, give me a little three, two, one magic. And just like that, guys, we got three football cards. Uh, three of the hottest players in the market right now. Um... We got Christian McCaffrey, and the reason I got him out here is because he's a position player, guys. And yes, I did say hottest players on the market, and I'm talking about a running back. He's one of them. You got Patty in the middle. You guys know Patrick Mahomes. Um, going to be the next big thing in most people's eyes, uh, barring catastrophic you know, circumstances. Um, already got a Super Bowl MVP. Uh, of course, his cards are hot, on fire. And you got Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Cowboys, and... Um, well, that's pretty much it. He's the quarterback of the Cowboys. Hasn't done much more than that. But you know how the market is. Hype leads to money, leads to prices being driven up, and Dak Prescott cards are going up because of hype. There's no other reason. So with that being said, uh, for example, when I bought that Christian McCaffrey card, it was $175, which was super expensive for a position player. It's now seeing $800 sales. I'm probably going to actually sell that soon. Uh, the, the Patrick Mahomes in the middle, I was buying uh, pre-Super Bowl, 200 bucks. It's now selling for $2,000. And the Dak Prescotts, I bought a ton of these for 50 to 60 bucks each, or anywhere between 40 and, and 60 And 
I've actually sold some. My most recent sales have been right around the 350 mark, but they've actually even been pushing 400 bucks. So that just goes to show you how crazy the market has been. Uh, I bought the McCaffrey in May, and you're talking about a $175 purchase that's now selling for $800. Um, Patrick Mahomes, I bought back in January. He's done a lot since then. He won the Super Bowl and the Super Bowl MVP. So yeah, the card's going to go up. And it's just the hype in the market that's driving the Dak Prescott. So yeah, a lot of these guys are too late to get in on, guys. It's just really expensive. If you're coming in, you're coming in at high levels, and you're going to have yourself a lot of risk. And that's not how I like to invest, uh, personally. I like to leave myself minimal room for loss. Um, but you know, some room to make some money. And, and there's some players out there that I think are still underpriced. And I'm going to show you some cards that I have. I'm going to show you some cards that I've bought that are, I'm still waiting for. Uh, they haven't come in the mail yet, but I'll, I will show you pictures because I'm not just going to um, tell you what I'm doing and not show you. I'm not the type of person that, that likes to say, hey, these are the cards you should be getting or anything like that. This is all just my opinion. And, um, you know, I'm no expert. I just have fun with it. And um, taking flyers and gambling on some players for, lit, for for small amounts of money is fun to me. I, I find that fun. Um, I would rather do that than go to a casino and put my money on roulette or, or a craps table. So it's just my version of gambling and having fun with it and seeing how accurate I can be. And I'm not always right, guys. I'm not always right. So um, I'm going to show you some stuff that I have and some stuff that I bought, which I've already said. And I'm going to go position by position. I'm going to explain my reasoning. And I'm going to show you some cards that I have, but I'm not buying. So don't think that all these cards that I'm showing you are cards that I'm buying. It's just stuff that I've had. I've either gotten out of packs or things like that. I haven't gone and actually purchased these cards at some of the price points that they're at. So I'm going to start with the um, wide receiver position. And, uh, you know, currently there's lots of wide receivers like Michael Thomas, uh, Tyreek Hill, you know, a lot of these guys are seeing bumps in their cards, even guys like Kenny Galladay. And there's two guys uh, that I really think you can get in on. And even going back to last year's 2019 Prism, A.J. Brown from the Titans is really seeing high prices. So I'm going to go back um, and talk about some guys that really haven't seen a spike yet. You can still get in on the cards. Uh, the first guy I want to talk about is um, Juju Smith-Schuster from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, you can pick up his 2017 prisms right around the $30 mark raw. And, uh, he's the type of guy that is coming off somewhat of a mediocre season because his quarterback was out. He was assuming the role of the number one when Antonio Brown was gone. Didn't quite live up to the hype, especially if you play fantasy football, you know that he was a letdown. And his prices right now are hovering right between that $20 and $30 mark for 2017 prism. Uh, that's out of an iconic set where the Patrick Mahomes just naturally pulls the prices up in that set. Uh, Christian McCaffrey's in that set. Deshaun Watson's in that set. Um, there's just a lot of good players and a lot of good cards in that set. And the, and, and the Juju card just hasn't taken off yet, guys. Um, and I think that he's still a good value. If he comes out puts up a couple good games, uh, boom, people are going to want his cards. And, you know... I think at the price point you can get on his cards right now. And even if you wanted to go cheaper and grab the optics, who are like what are, which are like half the price, like twelve dollars, or the selects. I mean, the selects you can buy in lots right now for under five dollars a card. So there's multiple cards out there for multiple budgets. And I think that Juju is a um, good Juju. I think he's a uh, you know, I think he's got potential to make you a little bit of money at low risk. Uh, the second guy I want to talk about. Uh, rookie from to the 2015 class, uh, been injured a lot of his career, but really stepped up last year and put up some huge numbers for the Miami Dolphins. I am a little impartial because I'm a Dolphins fan, but his cards are just dirt cheap right now. And I'm talking about Devontae Parker. He had a monster season last year, well over a thousand yards, double digits and touchdowns. And, um, and he's in a good market in Miami. Believe me, Miami fans buy cards. I'm a Dolphins fan, and I know that sometimes I get in competition for cards with, with people in the market. And that also goes back to Juju, where Pittsburgh fans will buy their cards. So that's another thing you want to look at, not just a player's production and popularity. Is the team going to be successful? Pittsburgh will push to make the playoffs. They did last year with a bum quarterback. And uh, Miami's up and coming. Uh, if Tua starts to play midseason... Two is number one target is going to be Devontae Parker, and he's going to be talked about. 
And his cards are really cheap. You can get his 2015 Prisms for under 10 bucks. And I grab his um, 2015 Contenders on-card autos. Now, I was buying these a while back because I'm a Dolphins fan and I knew what he was doing. So I was getting these for under 10 bucks. This card is still maybe can be bought for 20 to 25 bucks. And I just, it's a great card, on-card auto uh, of a player that could really bust out this year with one of the most popular rookie quarterbacks uh, when he plays. And, um, and Miami is trying to turn it up. So Devontae Parker is another card, another player uh, that I think is affordable and under the radar. And um, I, I like the upside on Devontae Parker, you know, in comparison to, you know, if I bought a Prism for five bucks and he didn't do anything, okay, I'm out my five bucks. But just say he has a semi-decent season, makes the Pro Bowl. Now you're talking about a card that you bought for five bucks that could be a 30, 35, even $40 raw card. So that's my two wide receiver picks. I, I like Devontae Parker and I like Juju Smith-Schuster. And uh, in the comments below, guys, tell me some of your wide receivers that you like, all right? We're going to do this little by little, position by position. So right now, tell me who your receivers are. Next up, we're going to skip on over to the uh, running back position. And uh, I want to talk about, uh, first and foremost, Alvin Kamara, guys. Alvin Kamara and his 2017 Prism. Now, this is another card that's in the same set as the Patrick Mahomes, the same set as the Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey's PSA 10s of this card are, you know, 800 bucks right now. Um, Alvin Kamara Raws are still at that $30 price range. And I've seen, them, I've seen them go higher. Okay, this card was originally around 15 to 20 bucks. And then it was starting to see sales pushing $50. And then he had a little bit of a con contract dispute. And currently right now, I believe that has scared some people off of this card. And it's gone back down to the $25 to $30 area raw. And um, he's going to sign. Don't worry about it, guys. He may have signed by the time I dropped this video and I just didn't check the news. But he's going to sign with the Saints. They're going to be competitive. Um, they're going to push into the playoffs. He's a top five, you know, top five to six fantasy player. So people know who he is, especially the fantasy football players. He puts up good stats um, and just lots of potential in his card for the price. And in comparison, like what I want to do is I want to compare the Alvin Kamara to another card from last year. And I'm talking about the 2019 Prism of Josh Jacobs. Now, I did not buy this card, guys. I, I got it out of a pack. Um, However, this card is also a $30 to $40 raw card. Now, there's nothing against his talent. He almost won Rookie of the Year last year. He had 1,000 yards. You know, I believe he's from Alabama, so he's got that going for him. You know, college is always also big when it comes to collectors. However, he's playing for the Raiders. I don't look for them to be uh, division winners. You know, I'm not going to say I don't look for them to be competitive. However, they got to play the Chiefs. They got to play Denver. Uh, the AFC is just pretty stacked with some good teams. Uh, he's in a good market. However, if I have to choose to spend 30 bucks on a 2017, which is becoming an iconic football set because of the Patrick Mahomes and getting the Alvin Kamara, or $30 on a guy who's got one year under his belt and plays for the Raiders, because Kamara has proven that he can do it done, get it done, you know, in uh, multiple occasions. I'm just going to spend my money on Alvin Kamara, guys. I'm going to choose Alvin Kamara over Josh Jacobs. Not that I think that Josh Jacobs is not a good player. I just think for the price, if you had to pick, um, I'm going with Alvin Kamara. And uh, next up, my second running back, a former Dolphin. Uh, so I know this guy is talented. He's electric. He's playing in Arizona, a high-powered offense, in a tough division. However, I'm talking about Kenyon Drake. Um, and I have his contenders here, 2016 contenders, uh, on-card autos. This is the Sepia Refractor out of 99. This is the... Um, horizontal uh, photo variation. And these cards were like $20 pickups or they can still be bought for like 25 bucks. Actually, when I was buying them, uh, I was buying them for eight to 10 bucks. Uh, I was buying position players last year. This time last year, I was buying position players. I kind of saw, not saw, but kind of thought that eventually they would get their respect and their just due. And so I was in on these early. I still think they're a good buy. You can even buy his 2016 uh, Prisms um, you know, for 20 bucks, 15 bucks, uh, you can go the way of the contender's ticket because unlike other sports like basketball, contender on-card ticket autos 
tends to be the big time chase card. But if you wanted to go the route of the Prism, they're still really affordable, you know, around a $15 to $20 mark. Uh, but you could also go this route. And I just think Kenyon Drake has a lot of upside. He's going to, I think he's going to put up some stats. And again, for the price point, guys, right now you're just looking at somebody that you can get in on at a decent price and that you can hope that they can make you some money because uh, it's so hard to go out and buy, you know, Saquon Barkley and Ezekiel Elliott and things because these cards are already gone up. But because their cards have gone up, you know, it's going to help the value of these other players. So get on them while you can. So, guys, it's finally time to touch on the quarterback position. And believe me, that's a position I don't want to touch with a 10-foot pole, guys, because every quarterback is expensive. Every quarterback is overpriced, in my opinion. Even Patrick Mahomes, his rookie card in a PSA 10 that you see right here, which isn't even his best one, is selling for $2,000. I mean, that's Peyton Manning prices, you know? Peyton Manning is a five-time MVP and two-time Super Bowl winner already established you never know what's going to happen in some of these young guys future uh but yeah that's a, a whole nother debate for another day uh but anyway let's talk about a couple quarterbacks that i think are underpriced and have potential in comparison to some others so first off i want to talk about uh teddy bridgewater and the reason I want to talk about Teddy Bridgewater is just because I don't necessarily think Teddy Bridgewater is a really good buy uh, in comparison to the prices that he's at and um, other cards. Uh, I have these Teddy Bridgewater cards. I just happened to buy them dirt cheap uh, sometime months ago. I think I paid 50 bucks for this entire lot um, with this card in there. You know, I thought 50 bucks was a no-brainer. However... Um, from the same set, Topps Chrome, not the same year, a couple years earlier, you can go and you can buy Ryan Tannehill for $3. Ryan Tannehill, Topps Chrome, rookie card, 3 bucks. Um, you could buy his Prism in the 2012 Prisms. You know that uh, that set, anything from that set is expensive. But you can even buy those Prisms uh, for 20 to $30. Bucks. Uh, but the Topps Chrome, guys, $3. $3 for a guy who was on a team that knocked New England and the Ravens out of the playoffs last year. So I look for this guy to be a, be a playoff quarterback. He doesn't have to put up gaudy numbers, but all he has to do is win, and he's on a team that I think is going to win. Um, contenders auto here. Um, that's a little more up in the budget, but, you know, 200 bucks for one of these graded. Uh, just look at the Russell Wilsons and stuff like that. He's not Russell Wilson, and he won't have the career. He doesn't have time to put together the accolades that Russell Wilson already has. Um but just cards that can get you some quick flips for cheap, three bucks. All it has to do is go up to $15 and you're making five times your money. Um, if I had to choose between Bridgewater and Tannehill, I'd go with Tannehill. So that's why I should show those two first. And also, um, you got guys, uh, 2018, uh, Mason Rudolph, um, I'm not really excited about Mason Rudolph. I'm not recommending him. Um, back up to Big Ben. Got a chance last year. Really didn't do much. Uh, was more famous for the drama with uh, Miles Garrett than his production on the field, which is kind of a bad thing. And um, if you want to chase a young quarterback, uh, you can go out and you can get uh, Gardner Minshew. Uh, Gardner Minshew stuff, even in the prism, is like $15. Uh, the optics are like 5 bucks. Uh, things like that, but um, but let's not talk about chasing a young quarterback. Let's talk about a quarterback who's actually been in the league for a couple years, since 2016, guys, and I'm going to talk about Jared Goff. And the reason why I showed you Gardner Minshew uh, optics is because Jared Goff optics are the same price. Gardner Minshew optics, Gardner who hasn't really done much and is on a team that probably won't do much, um, just because of the hype around Minshew, his optics are eight to ten bucks, and believe it or not, you can buy 2016 optics of Jared Goff, quarterback for the Rams, for eight to ten dollars each. You can buy PSA tens of that card for 120 dollars. I bought a PSA ten select Jared Goff for 50 bucks. I bought a 2016 optic hollow, not a base hollow of Jared Goff, for 25 dollars. Guys, those are just prices that you can get in on a quarterback that is a quarterback who is one season removed 
from the Super Bowl. Not last year, but the year before the Rams and Jared Goff were in the Super Bowl. They lost to the Patriots, but they were in the Super Bowl. So he's kind of been written off after not having such a great year last year, the team as a whole. But he's still really young. He's still got a lot of future ahead of him. And he's somewhat proven. He's been to a Super Bowl. And you can get his cards for the same price of Gardner Minshew and Mason Rudolph. To me, it's just a no-brainer. Uh, I like Jared Goff cards um, at 8 to 10 bucks for any starting quarterback who's been in the Pro Bowl and been to a Super Bowl. So, and, and hollows at $25. Bucks. Uh, PSA 10 prisms, if you really want to push the, the, the budget, are around... You know, 300 bucks. They go off at auction around 280. There's buy it nows at 350 if you're an impulse buyer. But around the $300 average for a PSA 10 prism of a starting quarterback in the NFL right now, guys, just seems to be to, to be unheard of. Especially a guy with like Jared Goff who has potential and has shown potential. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to announce uh, what I'm going to be giving away for this video, guys. Um, and hang tight for the question. But the giveaway is going to be. Another quarterback coming into his third year. It might be do or die for this guy, but he has shown strides. And I'm going to be giving away a 2010, or 2018, sorry, PSA 10 of Sam Darnold. Um, one of the first picks of the draft in 2018. He was right up there in the top three, I believe. Um, maybe number two. Uh, but yeah, he's kind of been stranded on the Jets there where it's just kind of been tough. But he's shown some signs of, of, of being a good quarterback. So, yeah, because it goes along with the theme of the video, you know, taking risks on some guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give away this Sam Darnold Gem Mint 10 Select, which is already a fairly valuable card. However, if this guy goes out and does anything this year, someone will have a nice card on their hands, and it's not going to be me. You know why? Because I'm going to give this away. Yes, believe it or not, I'm going to give this away. Uh, so now that I've talked about the giveaway, I've talked about all my picks at each position that I kind of like taking flyers on. Now, guys, these are flyers. Remember, nothing is concrete or set in stone, not even with superstars. But these are just some flyers because sometimes when you're new to new to collecting or you don't have a high budget, you got to look for some entry level cards and some entry level prices to try to get yourself in on. And hopefully you'll get lucky and then you can turn some of that into profits will then allow you to get some established superstars. And um, what I have over here is I have a handful of cards that are super dirt cheap that I think have some good value because they're backup quarterbacks. And all it takes is for a starter to struggle, for there to be an injury, you know, and then boom, a backup quarterback comes in. He either plays really bad and he's gone and you're out, your you're, you're investment where he plays really good and everybody wants his stuff. And then he signs an off season contract for big money and goes to another team. It just always happens. How many times have you seen it happen? I'm not even going to name the players. It's happened so much. You come in as a backup, you do well, somebody signs you to a multi-million dollar contract and then boom, all of a sudden you're a starter. And um, I'm going to show you some guys that are just really good and cheap and they're in decent situations. Uh, the first one I'm going to, I'm going to show you is, um, Will Greer, guys. Will Greer, he was a rookie last year, drafted by Carolina. And um, I just got some optic hollows. I got two hollows um, and two pink, orange. I bought this entire four-card lot uh, for maybe under 20 bucks. So two optic hollows and two orange and yellow or red and yellow hollows um, for under 20 bucks. Uh, a playoff on-card contender. Um, auto on-card. Uh, this also around 20 bucks for a rookie um, contenders auto quarterback any quarterback has normally got some value in that set you guys that collect football know that and I picked up already a, a prism PSA 10 uh, I doubt there's even many of these out there graded because who's grading Will Greer cards but anyway 25 bucks I bought this delivered for 25 bucks it's 15 bucks to grade it so I just thought that that was a no-brainer buy he may not play but, you know, he's in a position where they brought in Teddy Bridgewater, who is still somewhat of an unproven, never really started. You know, he's been injury prone. And who knows, there could be some time this season, you know, where multiple things, either bad performance or injury or something, could, could lead to Will Greer seeing some time on the field. He has been named, uh, the depth chart is out, and he has been named the backup to Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, second guy from the Cincinnati Bengals, 
absolutely bad uh, franchise. However, the, again, a rookie quarterback, if he struggles, if he's getting banged up and they don't want to risk him getting hurt, their backup, they've already named him as Ryan Finley, who was a rookie last year. Actually got some playing time last year. They benched Andy Dalton for him. So you can go out and get Silvers. Immaculate, you know, immaculate RPAs and contenders and contenders variations for dollars. I mean, mere dollars. And all it takes is for this guy to get some games or even be moved or anything like that. So just another flyer there with Ryan Finley. You can get his stuff really cheap. No, I'm not saying choose all these guys because it's not going to happen with everyone. Every starting quarterback is not going to get hurt. Every quarter starting quarterback is not going to struggle. So I'm just showing you some guys that I've had in my collection that I was buying last year when they were dirt, dirt, dirt cheap, and they're still pretty cheap. Um, the one I'm about to show you has actually gone up just because of a roster, a roster move or roster announcement that was made yesterday. But, um, but yeah, I'm not saying go buy Ryan Finley and Will Greer and this guy and that guy because it's not going to happen with all of them. But just do some research. Use some of your own knowledge and go back and look and just, you know, which guys make sense to you that are possibly, you know, good buys really low that may have a long shot of really turning you some money. Uh, next guy, and this guy I was buying last year, uh, Tim Boyle. Tim Boyle Contenders Auto. I believe this is his only rookie card even on the market. And, um, you know, Jordan Love was drafted to be the uh, backup for Aaron Rodgers and the future of that franchise. I was buying these last year because he was the backup to Aaron Rodgers. And I was like, you know, if something ever happened to Aaron Rodgers, which it does, Aaron Rodgers has tend to get banged up here recently. Um, then Tim Boyle would come in and be the starting quarterback for the Packers and you could sell a card like this before he even hit the field or you could hold it in hopes that he really did something. But yesterday, guys, the Green Bay Packers announced Tim Boyle as the backup. He beat out Jordan Love for the number two spot, you know, behind Aaron Rodgers. Jordan Love is number three on the depth chart. This card shot up to $30 to $50 sales yesterday. I bought this lot for 10 bucks. I bought both of these for 10 bucks in a lot. And now this is a $30 to $50 card, depending on the auction, just because he was named the backup. So it just goes to show you the hype built in the backup quarterbacks. If you get in at the right price, how you can make some money. I could already make money on this guy, and he hasn't even played a down. And he may never play a down. But, you know, that's just the state of the market right now. And the last guy I want to talk about who has also seen big increases in his card is Josh Rosen, the forgotten about quarterback from 2018. So you have the 2018 draft class. You have Baker, you have Darnold, you have Josh Allen, you have Lamar Jackson. All four of those guys were drafted in the first round, as well as Josh Rosen. There was five quarterbacks taken in the first round of 2018. Rosen has definitely been the least successful Really hasn't gotten much of a chance. Arizona was terrible with him. Miami was terrible with him. He didn't do himself any favors because he turned the ball over a lot. Miami actually cut him because they have Fitzpatrick and they drafted Tua. So the Dolphins cut him. I bought this card a while back for 75 bucks. I just thought already graded in a Gem Mint 10, 75 bucks was a good deal. And I was willing to take the gamble. He just got signed by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to the practice squad. But a guy with raw talent like a Josh Rosen, going to a team like Tampa Bay is the perfect situation. He's there with Bruce Arians, you know, the quarterback whisperer. He's there with Tom Brady. You know, who better to learn from than, you know, the greatest of all time or one of the greatest of all time? As well as the situation with all the weapons on that team. If Josh Rosen was to hang out in Tampa Bay's, uh, you know, team for a year or two, in that situation, could eventually become a starter. This card is already up to like 220 to 250 bucks just because he was signed by Tampa Bay. He was cut by the Dolphins, signed by Tampa Bay, and this card went up a bunch of money. So yeah, go out, maybe find yourself a couple low-end Josh Rosens, see if his prisms are still affordable or his optics, and you could probably buy him graded dirt cheap because people were getting his cards graded because he was projected to be a star. And then he kind of, you know, fell off the radar, kind of like Ryan Tannehill did for years. And you just never know when someone is going to finally get that chance and finally be good. 
And with the market and the hype right now, they don't even have to be good. Case in point, he hasn't done anything and his cards have already shot up, you know, three times. So yeah, guys, that's my video. Quarterbacks, wide receivers, running backs that I think are still um, valuable, you know, undervalued, underappreciated, overlooked, whatever you want to call it, that I think you can get in for a decent price um, and take a gamble on them. You know, just pick three maybe of these guys. Don't don't choose them all, but pick three, maybe three or four of these guys. And all you need is for one of them to be successful. And you're going to make yourself some money. You're going to miss on a couple. But if you hit on one of them, it's going to be good enough to make you some money. So let me know what you guys think. Who do you like? And um, all I want to know uh, for the uh, for your question, uh, for the question to win the Sam Darnold, um, is who do you think is going to be this year's NFL MVP and Rookie of the Year? Tell me who you think is going to be the MVP and tell me who you think is going to be the Rookie of the Year. And um, tell me what you're buying. Is there any guys that I may have missed that you like or you may hate all these guys? You may like some of these guys. It's cool because it's all opinionated and we're in here to help each other. We're in here to profit together. Um, and just remember, it's very important. All of these are not going to be hits. That's just the way that it is. But if you make some educated um, guesses or assumptions and do your research, you can land yourself one or two players that can make you some money and cover your losses and, and make you some profits. Um, so that's it, guys. We're going to give away the, um, the, the James Harden or the uh, Russell Westbrook. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys, good luck in your investing. And I'll see you later. What's up guys, Flippin' Steve. Time to do the giveaway for your choice of the two Houston Rocket cards, either the James Harden McDonald's 2007 GMA 10 or the SGC 95 Mint Plus stained glass mosaic, sweet looking Russell Westbrook. So you'll get your choice. Remember you have seven days to contact me. There's Instagram, there's Facebook. Uh, just figure out a way to do it. Uh, you'll have to comment below. Let me know that you're aware that you're the winner. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know how my giveaways work. If you're new, good luck. Good luck to everyone. And uh, let's go ahead and get this done so we can move on. How many comments do we have on this one, guys? It's going to be 90 comments, so 90, 1 in 90 chance. It's not as bad as the lottery, but it's starting to get up there. But good thing, guys. Good thing for the channel. Good thing for everyone because the more that the channel does, the more I can give back and do for you guys. So let's go ahead and see who the winner is. Who do we have? And what card are they going to pick? I have no idea. Yesterday, 1972. Great video of sales recap. When shipping an expensive card, do you buy insurance with USPS or United States Postal Service? And do you use signature required? I will insure a card if the buyer pays for it. However, I will pay for signature required. So that's to answer your question. Uh, there you go on that. Um, once again, guys, thanks for all the support. We're going to continue to do some giveaways. Get your notifications on because we're giving away the Sam Darnold. We're giving away the Luca Optic. We got things going on. It's going to be fun. My birthday is September 12th. And until next, guy, until next time, guys, good luck in your investing. I will see you later.